Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Madden 11 franchise mode. We're going to go into week 2 against the New York Giants. It's Peyton Manning against Eli Manning and uh, yeah we're at home but I have my away Peyton Manning jersey on. So yeah, let's get into it and see if we can go 2-0 and then we'll continue from there. Today's game is brought to you in HD by it's the Manning Ball. Madden NFL 11. It's a draw to start things off. Go on, die. That's a big lane. And takes it for 18 yards on the first play. Very nice indeed. Play action. Reggie's going to be there. It's a good catch. I think we just go for the straight up dive. No fancy shit on the goal line. A die into the end zone. Touchdown. Only rushing three. Sanders, that's yours. No shit. Oh. Good coverage downfield. Yeah, we'll take Dallas Clark on the over the middle, and we're already inside their their thirty yard line. Safety's creeping up, so we're going to flip the play. Get outside. Go on, Gonzalez. That's a great block. Get ankle insurance. A die breaks the tackle and he's going to go in for a touchdown. What a run. There's the safety creeping up, so we'll flip the play, run Clark's side. Cut it back inside. There we go. We'll take that. Garcon on the post here looks nice. It is nice. That's a lovely catch. So we'll draw him offside. Nope. Okay. Still looking for an open man. Manning outside He's the pocket. Hits Gonzalez for the touchdown. 20 to 7. All I know is that if these safeties split, then Garcon should be gone. The safety split. And Garcon is downfield. Timeout. There's eight in the box there. I'm not sure I like that. I do like that though. Reggie Wayne in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. It was a very, very risky pass, but it paid off. I want to see Reggie Wayne break free of this guy's press coverage. There it is. Reggie Wayne gets up to the 39. Play action. Dallas Clark is wide open. He's going to run in for Peyton Manning's third touchdown of the game. Manning hasn't dropped back to gotcha, too many bitch. times, and that time, who's that? That's Dwight Freenian for the sack. Who else? No! I've had it happen again. Hayden is so slow as well. We're going to stretch left. Away from... Broke ankle! Go on, Gonzalez, get that block. There we go. Eight rushes for 97 yards for a dive. And that should be good. Vinatieri's kick is up. And there it is. That makes it 38 to 14. Oh, no. Every time. Oh, that's terrible. Going for two. There we go. The pressure up the middle stop Manning from making the two point conversion. Alright. Even back then. And the field goal is good. Very nice. Oh, yes. New York. This is the extra point. We have the extra point with Fran Charles and Alex everyone. Flanagan. Welcome to the extra point. I'm Fran Charles from NFL Network. We're set to take you around the league with game recaps, previews, and much more. Let's swing it over to Alex Flanagan, who will get us started. For the Colts and the Giants. The New York Giants battled with the Indianapolis Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
Peyton Manning passed for three scores. New York was anemic in the running game. The final score was 41-20, Indianapolis. Preview Indianapolis at Denver. Indianapolis travels to Invesco Field at Mile High to take on the Broncos. The Colts have won two in a row. Peyton Manning is off to a good start for the Colts. Indianapolis is ranked first in the NFL in penalties per game. That'll do it from the studio. I'm Fran Charles from NFL Network. Join us next time for the Extra Point. We will join you next time for the Extra this Point. Thanks for having extra us, Fran. Point brought to you by Madden NFL 11. Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. They won the battle. Johnson. Surprise, oh, motherfuckers. Well, it's a fumble. It's a strip sack from Robert Mathis, and Dw Dwight Freeney recovers recovers it. That is a very nice play. Looked like Orton was trying to get the ball away, but instead is knocked free by Mathis, and you love to see it. Turnover in Denver territory. All right, we're going to go the halfback slash end around. Doesn't mean we're going to have the end around from Wayne, but uh, hopefully this will help. A die get outside. Inside yeah, that's got to be a touchdown, surely. Touchdown. And there it is. 18 yards for the score. Joseph Adai with another great run. That's his fourth touchdown run of the season, I believe. The field. And that brings him to fourth down. Oh, shit. It's a field goal. I didn't even realize. Okay. The 53-yarder misses from Matt Prater. Clark knows what he needs on this one, but they're only rushing three. The pass is away. He's we'll get the first down and out of bounds. There we go. I like Garcon on the post here if he's... Uh... That's not cover two. Maybe it's Clark on the corner then. Nope. Garcon there is nice. It's just in front of the safety and we're down to the two yard line. A quick pass. Hopefully Wayne will come open. Instead, it's Gonzalez. Oh, Powell's got his hand to it. I thought he was just going to stand there. Here's the return man. And shouldn't they use the wind there? That wasn't a great punt. Oh, that's a lovely return, though, from James. He might go all the way. And he will. Brandon James will return the punt. For a touchdown. Touchdown on the return. He takes a hard hit as he throws. Oh no! Bob Sanders is hey. down the sideline. He's dropped down. Bob Sanders was beaten. And that was me going for the pick again. And it's a good kick from Prater. 21-3. Oh, that's a big run as well. Both safeties have come down as well. That's lovely. Garçon on his... Yes! Robinson should be the guy we get here. It says Tammy, but I know it's going to be... Mm, maybe we'll just roll out and run it in with Manning. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's picked off by Hayden. There we go. We finally got one. Kelvin Hayden actually managing to keep up with Demarius Thomas is quite something and keep position on the ball. Yep. Good catch. Just holding on to everything. Now if this ends up being cover two or just straight up man. There we go. That's Garçon gone for a touchdown. Okay. Nope. It's picked off by Powers. There we go. Kyle Orton with a poor pass. Little surprising. Goes through his progression. Nope. Hayden with his second pick. There we go. That kills the game. 35-3 is the final. You love to see it. Okay, so game three of this episode is against the Jaguars. Uh, I'm now in a Dallas Clark jersey. He's been one of our biggest offensive weapons. So into the Jags game we go. Today's game.
game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Matt. And it's raining in South Florida. Gets it away. No powers. Picks off Garrard. And we take over, I think, our own 39 yard line. He's searching for a receiver. It's a great ball to, to Garcon out of bounds. Gilmontero's kick is up. And it's good. We take a 3 0 lead. How has Hayden been beaten like that? Josh Scobie. And it's good. And the kick is good. Here's the pass. There's Santi. I think it's a flag. Or a hold. Yeah, it was. Jesus, Mike. At least try and cover it a bit. Okay, let's hit your tight end on this deep corner route. You're out of the shotgun, so be patient. Let him get a few steps, then bam, throw it in there. We're really struggling here in Jacksonville. We're looking for a man. There's Wayne. Good, Good catch. We'll take a timeout. Kick should be up and good. There we go. 6-3 at half time. This has been a poor offensive output. That's what we like to see. They'll give it off here. Adair with a good run up to the 50 yard line. The unblocked. End. Oh, that's a lovely. That was a lovely block from the receiver there. Vinatieri with the 44-yarder. It should be good, and it is 9-3. We don't want to be conceding a touchdown here. He's going to pass. Mike Sims Walker has been really good for the Jags in this game. And they get in. That's not good. Means we need to score this this drive. There's Santi. First down. That's what we wanted. And we're finally into Jags ter territory. Go play action. He's searching for a receiver. That's a lovely pass. And it's Reggie Wayne. He goes in for the touchdown. No, yes, Garcon has just caught a tip pass, 17-10. And that means that we at least have a touchdown lead. It doesn't matter if we can see the touchdown now. It doesn't mean we're going to lose the game. I thought as soon as, as, soon as they got the tip on that, I thought that's it. But Garcon comes up massive. And Bullet forces a fumble. And we may have just won this game. Santi is about to return this for a touchdown. That is unbelievable. How this game has just swung on its head. This game suddenly looking out of reach for the Jags when just... Well, I guess 10 seconds ago they were leading 10-9. Move them around a lot up front so that you can't be specific on who's going to try and block... Sanders almost comes down with the pick and it should have been a pick. That's, that's going to be a touchdown. touchdown Colts. Gotcha, bitch. What a shot. That's another Freeney. sack from Freeney. And pretty the much game. finishes the game for us. As their guys get back and they're able to snap the ball, they're going to spike it. They are. So fourth and 18. The last player they get. <laughs> Okay, that was ridiculous. They spiked the ball and then they decided to punt. Put us into the lead, really. This one is the Colts. 31, the Jaguars. Then. Okay, so that is it for this second episode of my Madden 21 Colts franchise mode. Um, yeah, three wins uh, from three games in this episode. Takes us to 4-0 and in the season. It was really close in that Jacksonville game. They took the lead with... You know, three minutes to go and I was expecting to have to kick a field goal to win the game, if I'm completely honest. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Colts franchise on Madden 11, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.